How's it going everybody? We're starting the project Echo 590. Our good farm and ranch saw. A lot of you guys have these. Uh, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to work on this saw. This isn't typically the kind of saw that I work on. Um, so why not live, why not gain more experience and live beyond what I normally would do? That's fun, right? So what are we going to do today? Well, I'm kind of curious now. This thing's bone stock with a muffler mod, bone stock with a muffler mod. We have a 562 XP. This is the one that's got the scoring in it. Um, it's still a strong saw. I was thinking today, friends, uh, let's run this versus this. Uh, retail in Canada on this saw is like 600 bucks. You can get these on sale. This is about 900 bucks. So there's $300 difference between these two. Weight wise, they're very similar in weight. I'd say this one's slightly lighter. I think I'm going to have to put a wrap on this. I've, I've decided. This thing is a physically smaller, more compact saw. They both have adjustable oilers, I believe. Where's the adjustable oiler on this saw? Maybe it doesn't have one. Interesting. Oh, yep. Yeah, this thing has an adjustable oiler. So does this one. I wonder how opened up that is. Let's have a look-see here. Sorry, friends. I'm just, uh... Oh, yeah. She's open. Okay. So, specs-wise, these couldn't be any more different. This thing... This thing cuts at maybe a thousand RPM slower than this thing will wide open rev at. This is a torque saw, this is an RPM saw. Uh, power wise, I think there's about a horsepower difference between these two. It's an apples to oranges comparison, but it's really not. These are both current saws that are on the market and I have both of them here, so why not do a test? I'm just curious um, which saw will outcut. Now, I'll bet money, I'll bet the farm that this thing's gonna outcut this, but by how much? We're cutting poplar, average size wood, uh, nothing fancy. Let's give her a go. I'm gonna go set us up at the saw buck and let's go make a few cuts with each saw and then we'll figure out which is better. Uh, does speed always mean better? No, it doesn't. Um, if you're on a budget, there's nothing wrong with this. I've put enough miles on this saw now to know that this is a good saw. It's a, it's an echo. It's reliable. If you only got a one saw plan, there's nothing wrong with this. Okay, friends. Um, we'll go run outside. I want to show you guys the chain. The chain here. So that you guys... Now, this is a 20. Uh, I'm just... I'm running the average bar that the average fellow would run. Uh, a lot of guys run 20s here. Okay. I just sharpened this Oregon EXL. Rakers are not super low, but they are profiled down. Got a decent hook, and she's sharp, okay? This is a 3 8 uh, 8 50 gauge EXL on a 20 inch VersaCut bar. Lightweight bar. Uh, I've mentioned before, I actually, I really like this VersaCut bar. It's, for the money, I've been really happy with it. Okay, I'll see you guys at the wood pile and we'll set up the saw buck and let's run both of these saws. I'm just curious, so let's do it. Okay, friends, we got the Echo CS590. I've pre warmed this saw. I will do two cuts with it and then I'll show you a cut with the tack on it.
Okay, so you can see uh, in a full log, which we weren't cutting the other day, uh, this thing cuts 8,500, 9,000 RPM. Again, that is from the low exhaust roof. So um, it pulls hard though for a 60cc saw. Um, this isn't the hardest cutting wood, but I mean, for a 60cc saw, this this will do the job. This would pull a 24 for sure. Um, it starts nice, it idles good. Uh, the anti-vibe's decent. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but if, if you do have issues with your hands, um, keep that in mind. I've leaned this thing out quite a bit today. That's the, about the RPM I can get out of it. Um, so, kind of interesting. Okay, let's take the bar off this here 590. Fun to be able to play with a saw like this. This isn't something here. I'm just gonna flip around here. This isn't something I would typically own or buy. Uh, not for any reason other than uh, I just I pretty much just have old saws. So this is fun. It's always fun to be able to work on different saws. Okay, we'll throw this down on the ground. Saw seems to oil pretty well. No complaints with oiling. Okay, 562. I've put a bazillion miles on this power saw. And it's funny because I've never ported this. I'm just going to bring you guys in a little closer. Uh, temperature today is... It's got to be 95 already, high humidity. Let's bring you guys in closer so you can see. It's about 95, 70% humidity, so heat is a factor today. But it is what it is, right? I try not to modify, I try not to skew results, meaning I try to test on whatever day I'm testing. These are work saws, and uh, I'm, I just, I like them to run. I, I find I'm more happy if they run good on a bad day than if they run good on a good day, like weather-wise, right? I, I, I like my saws, and not that either of these are ported, but I like my saws to be trustworthy. And part of that is you got to take them out on those rough days when it's hot. There we go. So one thing about the 562 comparison-wise, um, if you... If you like, if you like uh, internal clutches, this is not the saw for you. This saw has an external clutch, and uh, what do we got here? Okay, this saw has an external clutch, so it's a little bit more fumbly to put the chain on. There we go. Just trying to line up the bar adjuster. I had a 24 on this last time, if I remember correctly, so. There we go. Captured nuts on this power saw, which I like. Nice if you're in the bush, if you've ever lost a bar nut, which I have, uh, that sucks. Especially if you're out in the bush somewhere cutting. Take up the slack. There we go. Okay, let's pre-warm this thing. Okay, here's a cold start. This is an auto-tune saw. Primer bulb. Pull the choke up, out and up. Push it down.
This thing's zippy. I've always liked this saw. It has its limitations, but uh, this will pull a 24 in hardwood. No problem. Interesting. I think we have an exhaust gasket leak or something of the sort. Oh no, I spilled oil. Sorry. I've always liked this saw. Uh, it pulls a 24 with authority. Um, once you start getting into hardwood, you look down suddenly and you go, you know, big. What's going on? Oh yeah, it's a 60cc saw. So I'm going to put the tack on this and make a cut. Let's see what kind of RPM this machine runs at. Uh, this one's a little bit more difficult to tack. Let's see if I can do this. We'll figure it out, friends. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll hit you guys back up. Okay, I quickly ran into the shop here. I want to, it is hot, like it's already up to, it's 90 degrees in here and again, 69% humidity. I ran into the shop, these are both heat soaked now. Do they restart? Well, let's try this one second, the Echo. Okay, I'm not, no choke. <laughs> You hear it starving for fuel there? Uh, this thing's a little heat soaked. It started though. Um, no problem. Okay, I get emails about this all the time. My 562 doesn't start hot. Here, ready? Put it up. This thing is hot. Like, uh, that's one thing about these, they make heat. Okay, ready? Pull it up, fast idle. So that's, you go up for the choke. I'll show you guys this. If any of you are interested in this saw, this is the quirks of this saw right here, okay? Pull it out and up, that's choke, that's fast idle. Give it a couple of pumps, that'll put fresh fuel into the carburetor, okay? This is the hot starting procedure. If you don't do this, this saw might not start and you're going to think there's something wrong with this saw. Ready? <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to show you guys that. And again, this thing, it's its spicy. We were just playing with it, right? Running it. Okay, I, I timed everything. Sat down in the chair and had a coffee and timed everything. Do times matter? Not really. <laughs> I usually don't time cuts. Um, unless I'm trying to prove out a theory. Um, we're going to be piping some saws in the near future. I want to prove out a theory and I'm going to be timing cuts for that. Okay, so let's start with the 590. Now I'm going to tell you guys why each saw runs the way it does, okay? The 590, today again, 12.5 is the highest free rev speed I could attain with this power saw. It will not rev past 12.5, often it will hit 12.3 and hit a wall. Uh, Semi-fixed high jet for sure. It starts dumping fuel in as this thing gets lean, so... Uh, if you're tacking your saw and that's all you're getting out of it, well, that's what I'm getting out of it too. Okay, 12.5, free rep. In the cut, 8,700 RPM is the highest RPM I saw with this today. It would it would hit about 9,000 as it started the cut, and then it would drop down to 87 almost every time. Very consistent cutting saw. Um, so, right there, it is what it is, right? 8,700 RPM. The 562, free rev for this, 13.5. Uh, you, you hold the go fast button, this thing will hit 13.5 nine times out of 10. It'll hit 13.5 and then it'll drop to about 12.8, 12.7. It starts dumping more fuel in. 
Okay, uh, 13 five in the cut with this saw 10,000 is what this thing cuts at it, it's pretty much tuned it'll just cut at 10,000 so that's pretty fast for for what it is um, even with a 24 I've tacked this thing in larger wood 10,000 is what it cuts at again auto tune this thing will always tune to cut at absolute optimum performance that's why these things feel zippy because they are because they're perfectly tuned they do run hot though this thing's whew, this thing's really hot I have the side cover cut on this to let more air out and it's still the new ones have a vent here um, interesting okay let's go over our timed cuts the first cut with this I did a series of cuts and I picked the best one so I think I made about 15 cuts with each saw um, the first cut with this saw going down just straight buck four and a half seconds that was the best buck I did of the day um, the under buck which is going up 5.5 seconds there's nothing wrong with that we're not cutting huge wood I'm trying to just cut the average wood with the average saw okay so four and a half seconds for our first cut the 562 3.8 seconds 3.7 I rounded it up to eight um, so it's about it's almost a second faster in that cut now does that matter nah, to me it doesn't this feels way stronger though okay it feels like it's making magic happen in bigger wood I'm sure this would handily run away on this saw in the underbuck 4.2 seconds <coughs> excuse me this saw was 1.3 seconds faster in the underbuck uh, underbuck seemed to work a saw a little bit harder and uh, uh, the horsepower of this thing just takes over so um, kind of interesting again I like both these saws of course this is going to be my pick I own this saw this is not my saw this is um, I like this saw I've had it for years it's been nothing but a steady companion for this saw um, so overall again captured bar nuts no captured bar nuts does that matter only when you drop one in the woods <laughs> They both have external chain adjusters. They both have adjustable oilers. Uh, Anti-vibe, the 562, that's about the best anti-vibe in the business. Uh, it has limiter straps. It doesn't move much fore and aft. It does move sideways. A little bit different to get used to uh, when you first start running these. But, I mean, all in all, uh, I give the anti-vibe to this. Uh, ergonomics, again, I like the ergonomics on this saw better. Nothing wrong with this. Um, I just, I'm a Husqvarna man. I like the, I like the slightly more curved, uh, top handle of a Husqvarna. Uh, air filtration. Let's have a look, see. Clean as a whistle. Um, I have not cleaned this. This saw here, uh, I cut with this the other day for a good portion of the day. And look shiny okay so uh, this saw seems to have good uh, air filtration it moves the air uh, away from the air or it moves the air into the air box but gets rid of the particles again no fines in there so I'm gonna say echo makes a good air filter um, for what it is uh, it seems to do a good job so just gonna tighten that down Okay, the 562. These are known for cruddy air filters. Um, this one's getting a little dirty. Probably time for a new one. I haven't... I rarely clean this air filter. It's just one of those saws that this thing gets used and abused. But uh, this was a test saw. Okay, there's the bottom side of our air filter. Again, there's no O-ring on there or anything. Let's look in there. little bit of fines but nothing that's too concerning uh, I know some guys have a big problem with that um, I don't cut a lot of dry wood here so maybe that's why I've never really had too much of a complaint with this uh, air filter system in this saw I always do that Again, if you want to take the top cover off with this saw, you have to have your scrunch with you because these are tight. This one you can just 
so that's about it. Um, I like both saws. I'm definitely going to give the nod to this. Of course, it is a pro saw. It's got more power. It's lighter. But I mean, there is nothing wrong with this. If if a fella just wants a power saw uh, for farm and ranch work, firewood cutting, um, this thing's got grunt, which means you can tackle bigger wood with a smaller saw. And uh, I think this would pull a 24, no problem. Uh, it seems to be fairly fuel efficient. So uh, it's a nice saw. I'm, like I said, I'm super excited to try just different saws. Put you back in here. Okay, well, I hope that gives you guys a little bit more info on these two. These saws couldn't be any different from each other, but it's what I have. And again, they're both current model saws, so um, they're both good saws. And uh, I wouldn't be upset to run either of these for a day. If I was doing smaller work, either one of these saws would do the job. Of course, the nod goes to the 562, though, only because, probably because it's my saw. And uh, this thing's a screamer. This thing almost runs like a ported saw out of the box. So, but we're gonna port this one. And uh, perhaps when we're done porting this, um, maybe we'll run a stock 562 against a ported 590. Uh, if a fella does his own work, swaps those parts, can he make a monster out of this to just bury this? We won't know until we do it. Anyhow, friends, as always, thanks for watching. Take her easy, and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Later.